Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Robert James Fischer and Sharav Purevzav. Sharav Purevzav, play with black pieces, is a Mongolian champion. This game was played in Varna, Bulgaria, in 1962. Bobby Fischer had white pieces, and he started with e4. Sharav Purevzav played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6 attacking the pawn on e4, defending, and now g6, going for the dragon variation of the Sicilian defense. Bishop to e3, bishop to g7, f3, going for the Yugoslav attack. Knight to c6, queen to d2, intending to castle the queen side, to push pawn, to exchange it for the pawn on g6, exchanging the square bishop, and to checkmate black king on h7. Of course, after removing of the defender of the pawn. Black to move, Sharab Purevzav castled kingside, bishop to c4, knight to d7, Bobby Fischer castled queenside, naturally. Knight to b6, attacking the bishop, bishop to b3, knight to a5, white to move, h4, or something else. What would you do? Bobby Fischer played queen to d3, why? Why not h4? If h4, then knight from b to c4, attacking the queen, bishop takes knight, knight takes bishop, forking the queen and the bishop, and after queen to e2, knight takes bishop on e3. White, dark square bishop, should be ideally exchanged for black dark square bishop. That is why Fischer played queen to d3, preventing knight to c4. Bishop to d7, and now h4, rook to c8, h5, knight from b to c4, to save the bishop or not. Wait to move, Fischer captured the pawn on g6 with pawn, h takes on g6, and now bishop to h6, exchanging dark square bishops will weaken black's defenses big time. e6 f4, so white queen has access to h file, e5, attacking the knight, white to move, how would you continue, what is the best square for the knight? Did you find the best square, is it knight to f3? Bobby Fischer found the best square for the knight, knight to f5, offering black to capture the knight. Sharav Purevzav captured the bishop. If g takes on f5, bishop takes bishop, and after king takes bishop, queen to g3 check, king to f6, queen to g5 check, king to e6, and then check mate. So you have bishop takes on f5. Pawn takes bishop. Believe it or not, black's position is lost. So, Sharav Purevzav played a desperate move. It makes sense. Well, a natural one like knight takes on b3 doesn't work. Knight must go back to a5 and then queen to h3 is winning for white. So we have knight takes on b2. King takes knight and now e4 attacking the queen and threatening Bishop takes knight on c3. Black was hoping for this variation. Queen takes on e4. Bishop takes knight check. King to b1. Knight takes on b3. C takes on b3. Rook to e8. And black is fighting back. So if queen takes on e4 is not the best move, what is the best move? Please pause the video and find the best move for white, or should I say a killer move.
what did you find? Did you find this move? Sacrificing the queen. Well, Fisher wanted to sacrifice the queen. But Charab did not accept. He captured the bishop. If pawn takes queen, then f6, and there is no sensible way to stop rook to h8, check mate. So we have king takes on g7. White to move. White play the move and black resigned. The move is knight to e4. Black resigned. One line goes like this. This is not the only line. Rook to g8, making the room for the king to escape. Then f takes on g6. F takes on g6. And now brilliant move. Rook to h7 check. King takes rook. Knight to g5 check. King to g7. Knight to e6 check. Fork in the king and the queen. And after king to f6, knight takes queen winning for white. And let's go back to this most interesting position of the game. This is the position. Did you find the killer move? If you did, congratulations. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.